The Second Bridegroom by Rodney Hall is a novel that explores the themes of identity, power, and relationships in a rural Australian community. The novel follows the story of Ellen Kershaw, a young woman who is struggling to come to terms with her past and her present. The novel is set in a small town in Australia during the 1950s, where Ellen Kershaw is the daughter of a well-known local businessman. Ellen's mother died when she was young, and she was brought up by her father, who is overbearing and controlling. Ellen's father has arranged a marriage for her to a man she does not love, but she agrees to marry him to please her father. As the novel progresses, Ellen begins to question her identity and her place in the world. She starts to feel suffocated by the expectations placed on her by her father and the town, and she becomes increasingly disillusioned with her impending marriage. She meets a man named Jack Brown, who is a newcomer to the town, and she begins to develop feelings for him. The novel explores the power dynamics within the community, particularly between men and women. Ellen's father is a powerful figure in the town, and he uses his influence to control Ellen's life. Jack Brown, on the other hand, is an outsider who is not subject to the same constraints as the other men in the town. He is able to challenge the norms and expectations of the community, and this is what attracts Ellen to him. The relationship between Ellen and Jack is central to the novel, and it is portrayed as a source of hope and liberation for Ellen. However, their relationship is also complicated by the power dynamics at play in the community. Jack is seen as a threat by some of the men in the town, who view him as an interloper. This tension comes to a head towards the end of the novel, when Jack is attacked by a group of men. The novel is also notable for its exploration of the landscape and environment of rural Australia. The descriptions of the town and its surroundings are vivid and evocative, and they serve to underscore the sense of isolation and confinement that Ellen feels. The novel also makes use of symbolism, particularly in the recurring image of the river that runs through the town. The river is both a source of life and a symbol of the dangers and uncertainties of the world outside the town. Overall, the Second Bridegroom is a powerful and thought-provoking novel that explores important themes related to identity, power, and relationships. The novel is well-written and engaging, and it offers a nuanced and complex portrait of rural Australian life in the 1950s. The characters are well-drawn and fully realized and the novel effectively conveys the sense of tension and unease that permeates the town.